smart people are using AI to make better life decisions, handle emotional setbacks, build apps with zero coding, and even fight off sneaky medical bills. Unfortunately, most people have no clue this is even possible. In the next few minutes, you'll learn how to use AI like your own personal team of advisors, therapists, and engineers. Tip 1. Head over to ChatGPT and ask it to act like your personal board of directors. Start by listing some of your role models and what they're known for. Once that's in, describe your actual problem. Whether it's a career choice, a big move, or something more personal, give it context. Then ask ChatGPT for a structured breakdown, like a pros and cons list or a debate-style response, where each board member gives their take. The results are surprisingly thoughtful. You'll start seeing your issue through different lenses. If it starts to sound too generic, you can level it up. Use a tool called Notebook LM from Google. You can upload articles, books, YouTube transcripts, or podcast notes from your favorite thinkers. Then, summarize the information with Notebook LM's AI and send it to ChatGPT so that it can take on the personality of your board members. Now, when you ask questions, it's like getting advice directly from your heroes based on what they actually said, not what the internet guesses they'd say. Tip two. Smart people are starting to use ChatGPT to process emotional stress in a deeper way. You can prompt it by saying, I just went through a breakup. Act as a therapist and help me process this. Start with one question. It'll usually begin with something simple like, how are you feeling right now? But you can guide it. If you want to go deeper, tell it, stop giving me sympathy and be honest. Help me think through this clearly. The AI isn't a licensed therapist, obviously, but that's not the point. The point is that it reflects your thoughts back to you in a way that feels calm and organized. You can unload all your feelings without worrying about being judged or interrupted. Then you can ask it to help you make sense of it all, look at patterns, or even write down what lessons you've learned. Tip three, open a new chat and start by writing your personal goals. Be clear and add a timeline, like, I want to quit my job in two years and run a successful online business. Then say, tell me a story of a day in my dream life as my future self who has already achieved these goals. What you get back is usually pretty detailed and a bit wild. It might describe your morning routine, the kind of house you live in, the work you do, the people you spend time with, even how you feel at the end of the day. That narrative becomes a powerful tool. It's not just a wish list. It's a vision you can come back to whenever your motivation slips. Print it out, tape it to your wall, use it as your phone wallpaper if you have to. Smart people are using tools like Fathom, an AI meeting assistant that plugs into Zoom, Google Meet, and Microsoft Teams. It records, transcribes, and summarizes calls automatically. So while everyone else is scribbling notes or pretending to listen, you're relaxed and fully focused on the conversation. After the meeting, you can open the Ask Fathom feature to extract specific answers. For example, you can ask, what did the client say about the launch date? Or what were the top three concerns they had? And it'll pull those straight from the transcript. This means no more awkward follow-up emails or guessing what was said. Tip five. What if you've got a great idea for a product or service, but you don't know how to code? You could just open ChatGPT and type something like, create a static web app template that shows a gallery of AI tools with descriptions and tutorial links. The AI will write the HTML, CSS, and maybe even some JavaScript. But that's just the raw file. It won't do much unless you know how to host or deploy it. If you want to skip all that and go straight to a working product, try Lovable. 
It's an AI-powered builder that takes your prompt and turns it into a real web app with layout, buttons, and categories already set up. You just paste the same idea into Lovable and let it do all of the technical work. It creates the backend and frontend, organizes everything, and gives you a clean, usable interface. You can tweak the design, adjust how categories are displayed, and make it look the way you want, all without touching code. Tip six, you can use Google Gemini as a mock interviewer. First, install the Gemini app from the Play Store or App Store, then upload your job description file right inside the app. Now prompt it by saying, conduct a mock interview based on this job description. Gemini will use live mode to simulate a real-time conversation. It throws questions at you based on what the job actually requires. When you're done, ask for a critique. It'll analyze your answers and tell you how well they match the expectations in the listing. You'll find out if your responses are too general or if you're missing key terms like cross-functional collaboration or data-driven results. That kind of feedback is gold especially when you're applying to competitive roles and every detail matters. Tip seven. Here's a problem that hits everyone eventually, surprise bills. Whether it's a hospital bill that should have been covered or a fee from your internet provider, these charges show up and suddenly wreck your day. You don't need a law degree to fight them. You just need ChatGPT. Start by explaining the issue, like, I got an unexpected $150 medical bill for a checkup that should have been covered. Then ask the AI to help you understand what went wrong. It can break down the insurance terminology, tell you what might have triggered the charge, and help you prepare what to say when you call the billing department. You can even ask it to write a short, firm, but polite message to dispute the charge. When you're on the phone, you can even type real-time updates into ChatGPT, and it'll help you respond calmly and clearly. That gives you a huge edge. You're not flustered, you're focused. And in many cases, that leads to the charge being reduced or removed entirely. Give one of these tips a shot. Start with the one that solves your biggest headache right now. You don't need to be technical. You just need to ask. Are there any other tips you would recommend? Let me know below and don't forget to like and comment for future videos.